Morning. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Hello, I'm here to do my next design team project for the Trinket Parlour over on Facebook. These are some bits and pieces from my uh, latest design team box, which is Heavenly Cherubs. How cute. So I've uh, just grabbed a few bits and pieces. I'm going to be doing ATCs. Um, these actually were from a previous design team uh, package and what I've done because they were antique white so and I wanted them to match the whiteness of um, the cherubs and that so I've just given them a couple of coats of gesso and then painted them with uh, this white titanium paint so that's that that's all I've done in the painting department now what I was going to do I got this in this month's design team package as well. It's lovely. Glittery blue washi tape. So as you can see, I've put it on. But I'm not happy because you can see all the lines. Well, I haven't matched it up very well. So I mod podge that on, but I'm going to use that as the back now and uh, put some paper on because I don't like the lines. Don't like the lines. So, I've used this paper, which is um, Basil Basics, and it's called Chandler, I think, or Poolside, actually. No, Poolside, it's called. Pretty, pretty. It's got little white dots in it. So, uh, I've done two already. This one's... that one and that one so they're just sitting off drying <coughs> so all I did was cover it with Mod Podge make sure you get all the edges sorry off camera that's it just a nice coat of Mod Podge doesn't have to be too thick and then just put my lid back on because I don't need that no more and then got my paper and just stuck it on Make sure you burnish it down so it sticks. So I thought what I'd do is join them all together once I've put my cherubs on and that. And um, make like a hanging wall plaque type thing. Blue and white for my little grandson Kane for his bedroom. My little cherubies. So that's that. That's all the papers put on. Now this one is a square one, but these the corners on this one have been rounded. So once it's dry. I will probably trim them corners off. But pretty, pretty, blue and white always looks lovely. Look. So, I know I'm supposed to be doing a um, construction tutorial this week, but I didn't really leave myself enough time. So that's coming next week, ladies. I know what I'm doing now. I decided last night, but I thought mm, it's it was Friday yesterday, so obviously Saturday today. So um, and I don't want to be late, hence doing the ATCs instead this week. And then next week I'll do the well. I'm going to start the construction today, so um, so I want to get these done all quick. So my first one's out the way, 
and then I can concentrate on doing my videos for the construction for next week. So, um, so yeah, I know what I'm making now. I just need to um, do all the measurements and draw it out and that sort of thing. So, um, I will be raring to go on that very, very soon. So, now what I want to do is, I suppose I should trim my edges first, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to let them dry and trim the edges. Hang on a sec. Hello, I'm back again. I think I'm back again, am I? Yes, I am. Right. My ATCs are all dry now. Paper's all been trimmed. On I've got two that are got uh, rounded corners and one that is square so I'm not too worried about that because um, I'm going to use some corners on the square one in fact I'm going to do that one first let's just put them aside so I've got my hot glue gun and I did mean to say if you don't know what an ATC is it's an artist trading card they're three and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide okay and people generally just swap them okay so no deviation on the size, but they you can put anything you want on them. Hence artist trading card. So so that's that. Now I am going to start and I am sticking with the blue and white theme, as I said, for my grandson. So um, I won't be colouring my resin pieces at all because I love them white. I think they're they're absolutely gorgeous. And cherubs are white anyway, aren't they? So um so I've got my hot glue gun on and now I've just got to organise what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to start with my corners. Oh, actually, I'm going to have them that way for a change. So that's going to go there. I'm just going to lay it out first to make sure it's uh, what I want. <laughs> And then I'm going to yeah I like that and then I'm just going to glue them down I'm going to bring it down here a bit so I can see I'm using my hot glue to glue these down With the ouch, didn't want to do that, did I? And I'm going to pop that one on that corner. Oh, don't think the glue's hot enough. Hang on, let's start again. Let me just peel that off. See, I like this hot glue with the resin because you could just peel it off doesn't affect it at all so start again so that's my first one on and then this one. Out. Mind you, don't burn yourself, ladies, if you're doing this. That's my next one. Over a bit. Like so, make sure they're down properly. Okay, now the bottom ones. them on and my last 
last corner. glue strands off okay so that's my corners on I do like blue and white so pretty and I think I'm going to put that little cherub I'm not going to use that one on there in the middle oh straight onto my jeans <laughs> oh dear I've got glue all over my jeans now <sighs> sorry I'm going to do that again it's all come off on my jeans let it dry and then just pull it off I'm hopeless with a glue gun. Right, let's do that again, shall we? Try and get that in the centre as best as I can and straight. love oh pretty pretty so that's that one leave that on there now I'm going to do this one now I've got these two which I think I'm going to use this one So I need glue down the bottom because I'm going to put my nets. No, it's not going to go yet. Oh. So I'm going to stick that on there like that. of oozing going on so I'm going to take that off should have got a pin Didn't bring a pin out I'll get a pin and get those bits so I'll put that one on the top there and now I need a cherub for this or two cherubs maybe oh they're so cute Maybe that in there as well. Mm. Maybe that one. No. That one there. There. Oh, and this love heart came out of the big cherubs, these ones with these 
but they were too big for the ATCs, I think, so. Mm, not sure about that one. Not sure. What about that one? No. What else have I got? Got this one. Not big enough. No, I'm definitely going to have to use these. I'm going to do that. I think that's what's going to happen. Let's put my glue stick in. That's just falling out. Oh, falling out again. Definitely need a little pin. So that one is going to go. That. I'm going to put the love heart on as well. Yes. Okay, so that's the next one. Get that dry properly. And then this one, I've got this. I like that one, I'm going to use that. And I've got these really tiny little cute, cute, cute ones. So shall we add them on as well? No, I don't think it needs all four of them. So let's put this on first because I definitely want that on there. <coughs> oh. 
<coughs> in the middle. Let me click stick on oh, no, one is try not to put too much glue on them. I don't want it oozing out the edges. So that's the next one. Pretty pretty. So I'm going to have the square one in the middle like that and then I'm going to have that one like that and now I'm just going to join them all together somehow. So I don't need those. Let's put them back in my little box. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't use my flourishes that I painted after all that. No, it's going to be too much. Too much, too much. What about these little ones? Can I get them on there anywhere? Lovely white trim from the design team package from the trinket parlour. Pretty pretty. So what I'm thinking is Maybe just glue them on like that. I wonder how they're going to hang like that. <laughs> and then I need to double that over so I've got something to hang it up with. Do you think they're going to stay on like that or wobble about? Only one way to tell. Get them glued down. <coughs> now. I'm going to... How am I going to glue that on without attaching it to my... I'm going to have to turn them over. One there, that one there. I think I'm going to glue them like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Here goes nothing. Um, just straight down the middle. Now. 
be get the excessy bits off. Doesn't like that, but <coughs> so I'll give that a minute to dry. I need to make sure they're straight. That one's going to go like that. It's not very in the middle, is it? Down. Like that. that draw off a bit. And then the last one, oh I need my scissors, I'll get them in a minute. Um, I think it's going to be like that. Oh well, here goes. So I'll try and get the middle this time. Right, I'm just going to get my scissors. There you are, I've uh, trimmed off the top of my ribbon and then I've just uh, folded it over because this part will be where I um, hang it or where it will be hang, hung, sorry. So that's it. That is my little ATC cherub all hanging. Very, very simple to make, but beautiful. Look at it. Don't tell me you don't love that, because I do. So, there you have it. Pretty, pretty. Let's get that up a bit more. Can't get it all on the screen. See, once that's hung up, that's quite strong. So, I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks pretty pretty. I love blue and I love white and I love them together. So, that is my first design team project from my Heavenly Cherubs design team package. Pretty pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything else to it. Nothing too pretty flower wise because it's for a little baby, little baby's room. So there, I hope you like it. Give it a go. You can make your own. These are um, ATCs that I had in my stash, but you can make your own with a bit of chipboard or, you know, add some chipboard together to make it nice and sturdy like these ones. Just use your card and cut them out and stick them together, make it nice and thick. And uh, you too could have a little hanging display like that. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like it. Nice simple one this week and back to construction next week. Definitely. 
So um, I'm going to go off now and start that one as well. So uh, thanks for watching me. Don't forget, if you want to join the Trinket Parlour, they're over on Facebook. I will leave a link below that you can click on in there, take you straight there. Or you can do a search on Facebook, just type in the Trinket Parlour. Ask to join the group, you will be added and welcomed. And then you can go to the photo sections where there are lots and lots of albums with lovely loveliness like all these bits in my design team package. All right. Ooh, got that trim look. Oh well. <laughs> See, my brain's going. I'm just going to start adding to it. So yeah, get on over to the Trinket Parlour. You won't be disappointed with their loveliness and the prices are amazing. So um, thanks for watching and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.